Hi everyone, I'm Jerry Corcoran, and I'm pleased to welcome you to our 14th annual 21st Century Scholar Society Celebration. The first we've conducted in an online format, and God willing, the last. This is a favorite event of my wife Catherine and mine because it showcases some of the best and brightest students in the district who have made the wise decision to attend IVCC. Before going any further, I want to recognize Donna Swiskowski, Janice Corrigan, Carrie Burns, David Dodge, and Fran Brawley for the fine job they did of organizing this event. This year, the Foundation expects to award over $330,000 in scholarships to more than 300 students. The 21st Century Scholars Society was established to honor and financially assist some of our top returning students. 177 have now benefited from your commitment to higher education. The Society has awarded more than $197,000 since 2007, including more than 20,000 to 20 scholars this year. Each of our four finalists received $1,500 and the 21st Century Scholar, $3,000. We're also supporting 15 merit awardees at $750 each. We had 37 students apply who met the stringent criteria we impose on 21st century applicants. Minimum 3.5 GPA, meaningful college engagement, and significant community service. Over 30,000 graduates have had their lives enriched because of LPO Junior College and IVCC since we opened our doors 96 years ago. Although I've worked at the college for more than 30 years and been in my current position for 12 and a half, it seems like every day I become more impressed with the role IVCC plays in preparing students to transfer to a four-year institution or enter the workforce. Our faculty and staff are doing a great job, and I believe our community appreciates how fortunate we are to have a quality teaching and learning institution in our district and the role it plays in preparing students to become good citizens. IVCC is very lucky to have wonderful friends like you, our generous and gracious 21st century members for helping ensure our tradition of excellence continues. Thank you for supporting this outstanding institution and these exemplary leaders. And now Fran will introduce the 21st Century Scholars Society Class of 2020. Thank you, Jerry. I too want to thank each of you for joining us. Together we are building an endowment that each year has a significant impact on students. I want to begin by thanking all of our members. Donors who have been with us since the beginning in 2007 have contributed $7,000 each to this initiative. Charter members are Harold and Nancy Barnes of Serena, Joshua and Dr. Cecile Becker of Rochester, my sister Mary of Peoria, Gary and Debbie Dahl of Peru, IVCC board chair Jane Getz and her husband Keith of Ottawa, Larry and Christine Huffman of Peru, Dr. Bob and Vicki Marshall of Ottawa, Foundation President Dr. Sue Schmidt of Streeter, John and Doris Smith of Loudoun, Tennessee. Foundation Director O.J. Stoutner and his wife Susie of Peru. The William and Diane Taylor Foundation, represented by Bill and Diane Taylor of Winnetka. Dennis and Linda Thompson of rural Princeton. And the Malcolm Whipple family of Waltham Township. Other members include Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Deborah Anderson of Peru, Dr. Aziz and Wendy Asfahani of Ottawa, Lou and Fran Borio of Peru, my wife Mary Brawley and me of Ottawa, my brother Vince Brawley, a psychology instructor, and his wife Donna of Pity Hill, Associate Vice, Vice President for Academic Affairs, Bonnie Bennett Campbell and her husband Al of Oglesby, the Cantlin Law Firm, represented by Foundation Director Jack Cantlin and his wife Kathy of Earlville. IVCC President Dr. Jerry Corcoran and his wife Catherine of rural Ottawa. 
June Freebaron of Rural Utica, Dean of Natural Sciences Ron Grollo and his wife Kim of Peru, Vice President for Student Services Mark Rizbowski and his wife Liz of Peru, Criminal Justice Program Coordinator Kevin Hermes and his wife Sherry Ann of Elburn, New Member IBCC Director of Learning Resources Dr. Patrice Hess of Peru. Welcome Patrice. Hometown National Bank, represented by Foundation Director Dave Contario and his wife Deanne of Manuka. Foundation Director Larry Johnson and his wife Gayla of Ottawa. Assistant Director of Admissions Azarette Loveland and her husband David of rural Spring Valley. Foundation Director Jim Loveland and his wife Marilyn, also of rural Spring Valley. Steve and Mary Malinsky of Ottawa, Colleen and Dave McClure of Ottawa, Dr. Holly Novak of Springfield, Foundation Director Karen Nussbaum and her husband Nelson of Ottawa, Melissa and Doug Olivero of Peru, Julie Ramza and Patricia Fester of Streeter, English instructor Dolores Robinson and her husband Patrick Stevens of Morris, Jim Stevenson and Janet Biacchini of Peru. Foundation Director Patricia Siebert and her husband Owen of Utica. And Steve and Lori Benucci of Princeton. And now we will announce the Merit Award winners. We have 15 Merit Award winners for the 21st Century Scholar Society, each receiving $750. Joseph Baker plans to transfer to ISU and hopes to work for State Farm. Riley Bowler will transfer to NIU for a bachelor's degree and is seeking a career in automotive or computer-aided design. He grew up on a naval base in Hawaii where his father was stationed. Alexandria Boris will transfer to Western Illinois University to pursue a career in forensic psychology or forensic criminology. She works three jobs while attending IVCC full-time. Emma Ebner is a 4.0 GPA student whose interest in chemical engineering was inspired by an older brother who has gone on to a very successful career in mechanical engineering after starting at IVCC. Gabrielle Engelhaupt will transfer to Southern Illinois University Carbondale to pursue a career in cardiac sonography. She also plays basketball at IVCC. Callie Hansen is a first-generation student who will transfer to the U of I and hopes to work one day for Disney or Apple. Benjamin Gensler will transfer to the U of I to major in computer engineering. He hopes to create software and technology and work with artificial intelligence and robots. George Leon is the son of Mexican immigrants who hopes to transfer to the U of I and eventually return home to expand his father's construction business. He's an IVCC soccer player. Ashley Mock, a co-captain of IVCC's volleyball team, will transfer to pursue a career in elementary education. Alec Lockwood will transfer to Cedarville University in Ohio to pursue a bachelor's in graphic design and is considering a career in video game development. His parents, Kirk and Dawn, both work at IVCC. Haley Newton plans to transfer to Northern Illinois University's College of Business to pursue a bachelor's and master's. She tutors in IVCC's writing center. Ryan Skoog is a 4.0 student considering transfer to the U of I or Iowa State University. He is an intern with HR Green Engineering in Aurora and hopes to work for them following graduation. Madison Solomon will transfer to ISU and hopes to become a physical therapist. She was inspired by her mother, a physical therapy assistant. Clay Wells is a 4.0 student who came to IVCC after playing basketball and golf at Fieldcrest High School 
where he was inspired by his mother, a science teacher, and by legendary coach Matt Winkler. Clay is a member of IVCC's golf team. And finally, Michelle Wendy will transfer to ISU to pursue bachelor's and master's degrees. She placed fourth at the NJCAA's Division III National Tennis Tournament. And now, let's meet our five finalists. Please enjoy a brief profile of each, and we'll hear from each of them before announcing the 2020 Scholar. Skylar Arwood. Hi, my name is Skylar Arwood, and I am a sophomore at IVCC. As a biology major, I plan to transfer to Northern Illinois University next fall to earn a bachelor's degree. Afterwards, I plan on attending graduate school or a professional school. I would like to thank the 21st Century Scholar Society members for their financial generosity towards the school. Their contributions have also allowed me to continue my education and have access to the resources I need to succeed. Their financial assistance has enabled me to focus on obtaining my associate's degree rather than worrying about school-related fees. In addition, I am thankful to have had several teachers who have worked alongside me so I can achieve my goals. Some of them have also helped me with building connections and networking, which has already come in handy several times. I would also like to thank the college for creating student employment opportunities. I work down in the chemistry lab, the biology lab, and as a peer tutor for math and science classes. I feel grateful to have these jobs since I have always been interested in science, especially biology and anatomy. These jobs have also allowed me to build essential job skills and further expand my knowledge. I feel blessed to have been named one of the recipients of the 21st Century Scholars Award. I sincerely appreciate the recognition for my hard work and commitment. Ryan Lane. Hi, my name is Ryan Lane and I'm a sophomore here at IVCC. My educational goal is to acquire my Associate of Science degree in May 2021. I then plan to transfer to a four-year university in the fall to obtain a bachelor's degree in civil engineering, which will assist me in pursuing a career as a civil engineer. I would not only like to become a highly skilled civil engineer who designs and coordinates public works construction projects to improve the community that I live in, but I would also like to become a business entrepreneur. This will allow me to continue to use my civil engineering skills while realizing my dream of owning my own business. I decided that I will attain careers as a civil engineer and a business owner since I enjoy being challenged, solving problems, and assisting others. Another reason I would like to become successful in both of these career fields is a strong affinity I have for outdoor work and heavy equipment use that was nurtured by spending a lot of time with my grandfather who was a farmer. My work ethic developed and I learned many life lessons from those experiences which inspired me to follow my ambitions to fulfilling a successful career. Overall, my experience at IVCC has been overwhelmingly positive. I plan to continue to rem remain active in my school and my community while performing well academically. In conclusion, I would like to thank the 21st Century Scholar Society members for their generous support as I continue my academic endeavors. It is a great honor to be recognized by them and to receive this award. I would like to thank my parents for everything they do to support me, as well as the teacher staff and everyone at IVCC who made this an excellent place to further my education. Paula Taylor. Ladies and gentlemen of the 21st Century Scholars Committee and Mr. Fran Broly, thank you for the honor of bestowing this distinguished award to me. I would also like to thank my husband, Troy, and our three children, Cardin, Preston, and Jonathan. Retired counselor, Karen Stackowick, family members, past and current teachers, Mark Grisbowski and Sandy Beard, co-workers, library patrons, and close friends for their continued support and encouragement. My goal while I am a student at Illinois Valley Community College is to earn my Associate of Arts degree and then to transfer to Illinois State University 
to receive my bachelor's degree in early childhood education and to teach pre-K in a public school setting. Ultimately, I hope to earn a master's degree. Thank you for your time and have a good day. Reed Thomason. Hello, my name is Reed Thomason and I'm a sophomore at IVCC. Before I go any further, I'd like to thank the 21st Century Scholar Committee for supporting the academic endeavors of so many students here at IVCC. I'm honored to be one of the recipients of a scholarship. I can assure you that the scholarship will be beneficial in helping to achieve my educational goals. In the fall of 2021, I plan on transferring to Columbia College in Chicago. While there, I'll be majoring in filmmaking with an emphasis in screenwriting and directing. This major has grown out of my participation with theater. Two individuals have provided me with numerous opportunities, both at IVCC and in the community. They are Dr. David Keister and Don Grant Selmer. I would like to sincerely thank them for all of their guidance and support, as well as allowing me opportunities to incorporate film production in the theater department. Finally, I'd like to thank my parents for providing me with everything I have ever needed to be successful in my education and in the arts. I'm extremely lucky to have parents that prioritize my success and support my many artistic endeavors. Again, thank you for your continued support. And now the 2020 21st Century Scholar initiated a movement to create a student service society that is connected to the vast resources of its parent society, Rotary International, has given countless volunteer hours in helping feed the poor and homeless at public action to deliver shelter or pads has volunteered as a child care supervisor at her church, was even an assistant Little League baseball coach. At LP High School, was elected student council president, finished in the top 10% of her class, won the daughter of the American Revolution Award, and is a 4.0 GPA student at IVCC, planning a career in nonprofit management, specifically to aid the homeless or victims of domestic violence. The 21st Century Scholar is Grace McCormick. Congratulations, Grace, for this well-deserved recognition. Hello, my name is Grace McCormick and I am 2020's 21st Century Scholar. I'd like to begin by thanking the wonderful donors who made this possible. Thank you for your help in furthering my education and for encouraging students to succeed. And of course, I wouldn't be where I am without the educational and familial support that I've received my whole life, so I must thank some of my most influential teachers. Mrs. Carol Oakes, Mrs. Shelley Phillips, Mr. Troy Woods, and Miss Grace Curry. You have all instilled in me a drive to learn and a love for knowledge. Thanks to you, I know where I've been and where I'm going. Mom and Dad, thank you for teaching me how to be strong, independent, and to do what's right every time. I work hard for you and because of you, and I'm so thankful for you and my brothers. I'm so glad to have such a wonderful support system, especially at IVCC. I cannot express how appreciative I am for everyone in the Counseling Center, and I enjoy every day behind the reception desk. And a thank you to Grace Lynn Quessy for being both an amazing person and a beautiful friend. Finally, I'd like to thank Fran Brawley and the Foundation Office for giving me, and so many other students, this opportunity to succeed. After graduating from IVCC in May with an Associates in Arts, I plan on attending either the University of Wisconsin at Madison or the U University of Illinois at Ur Urbana-Champaign. I will double major in Project Management and Nonprofit Management, which I will use in the business world to organize successful events and nonprofit projects, which will hopefully lead to running a charity. I have spent much of my life thinking about college and who I will become. It seems unreal that I am moving on to a four-year university soon, and sometimes I feel nervous in regards to what the future holds. Especially now, there is so much uncertainty, and it is easy to feel dissuaded from following your dreams. But I have found that even in times of instability, there is nothing that can't be accomplished if you follow your heart. I look forward to seeing what my heart has in store for the future, and I thank you again for selecting me to be the 21st Century Scholar. Thank you. And that concludes the 2020 21st Century Scholar Society's virtual presentation. Thank you. <laughs>